everyone how are you all doing welcome you back in my geography class so what we will study today today we will know about the states of bihar and jharkhand of class 4 from the chapter the northern plains so we will know about the life of the people living in bihar and jharkhand we will know about their culture the people who are living there what type of languages they speak in what type of festivals they celebrate which are the major cities what are their occupations what are the different types of industries that we can find there and also which are the famous places which attract a lot of tourists there in the earlier videos we have discussed about the state of delhi and Uttar Pradesh and we also came to know about the life of people living in these states. So today we will know more about the states of Bihar and Jharkhand. So let's start with the state of Bihar. Bihar is a state of eastern India. It is towards the east of Uttar Pradesh. It is also situated in the Ganga Basin. Bihar is a thickly populated state. Do you know which is the capital of Bihar? The capital of Bihar is Patna. The river Ganga and its tributaries, the Ghagra, the Gandak, the Bhagamati, the Kosi, the Mahananda flows through the state. The river Kosi is known as the sorrow of Bihar. Do you know why? Because it causes huge destructive floods every year here in Bihar. The majority of the population here are the Hindus and Muslims also live in large numbers. Very small number of Christians live here. Now let us know which are the main languages spoken here. The main languages spoken in the state of Bihar are Hindi, Urdu, Bihari languages of Bhojpuri, Maithili and the Magahi. The major cities of Bihar are Patna, Goya, Bhagalpur, Muzaffarpur, Darbhanga and Munger. The soil of Bihar is extremely fertile which makes it ideal for agriculture. Rice is a main crop which is grown here. Other crops like wheat, corn, barley, pulses, Sugarcane are also grown here. Fruits and vegetables are grown in large scale. The main industries here are based on agriculture, steel and metal based industries. A few important minerals that are found in Bihar are bauxite, mica and dolomite. Now let us know which are the festivals that are celebrated here. Chhat is an important traditional and the most famous festival of Bihar. Other festivals which are celebrated are Buddha Jayanti, Sravani Mela, Makar Sangranti, Diwali, Holi and Eid. There are so many places of religious, historical and cultural importance in Bihar which attracts a lot of tourists every year. These are Nalanda, Bodh Gaya, Mahavodhi Temple which is one of the holiest sites of Buddhism marking the spot of the Buddha's enlightenment, Vaishali, Madhubani, Bhagalpur, Rajgir, Pawapuri, Valmiki National Park, Jalmandir, and Mundeshwari temple. So what we got to know about the state of Bihar that Bihar is situated towards the east of Uttar Pradesh. It is one of the state which lies in the Ganga Basin. This state is thickly populated and which is the capital of Bihar? The capital of Bihar is Patna. The river Ganga and its tributaries the Ghagra, Gandak, the Bhagmati, the Kosi, the Mahananda flows through this state and the river Kosi is known as the sorrow of Bihar because it causes heavy flood every year. Now the majority of population in Bihar are the Hindus, Muslims also live in large numbers and Christians live in small numbers here. Which are the main languages that are spoken here? Hindi, Urdu and the Bihari languages. The major cities of Bihar are Patna, Goya, Bhagalpur, Muzaffarpur, Munger and Darbhanga. 
soil is very fertile here in Bihar and agriculture is one of the main occupation of the people in Bihar. The main crop is rice. Industries are based on agriculture, steel and metal based. There are some minerals which are available in Bihar like bauxite, mica and dolomite. Different festivals are celebrated in Bihar among which Chhat is the most famous festival and other festivals which are celebrated are Buddha Purnima, Makar Sangranti, Diwali, Eid, Holi etc. There are different places of historical, cultural and religious importance which attracts a lot of tourists every year like the Nalanda, Bodh Gaya, Mahabodhi Temple, Vaishali, Madhavani, Valmiki National Park, Jal Mandir and Mundeshwari Temple. Now let us know about the state of Jharkhand. Let me take you to Jharkhand. Jharkhand, Jharkhand is a state in eastern India. It is one of India's newest states which was carved out of the southern portion of Bihar in the year 2000. Do you know which is the capital of Jharkhand? The capital of Jharkhand is Rachi. The most prominent physical feature of Jharkhand is the Chota Nagpur Plateau, a part of the vast Deccan Plateau that occupies most of peninsular India. Many river flows through the state of Jharkhand like the Punpun River, the Damodar River, the Suvarnareka River, the Brahmani River, the Son River. Majority of the population here are the Hindus. Christians and Muslims also live here in small numbers. Different tribal groups like the Santhal, the Oraon, the Munda, the Kharia and Ho live here in majority. Now let us know which are the languages spoken here. The languages which are spoken here are Hindi, Bihari languages of Bhojpuri, Maithili, Magadhi and Urdu. Some of the tribal languages which are spoken here are the Munda, the Santhal and the Ho languages. Which are the major cities here? The major cities are Rachi, Jamshedpur, Dhanbad, Jharia, Dhanbad, Jharia, Sindri and Bokaro. The soil here in Jharkhand is also very fertile. Agriculture is well developed which includes raising of livestock for meat, dairy products and wool. Jharkhand is very rich in mineral deposits such as coal, iron, copper, bauxite, mica and aluminium ores. Coal is available in large amount. Do you know one of India's largest steel plants is located here at Bokaro. The Damodar Valley Corporation is the most important multi-purpose project which is located here which provides hydroelectricity. Industries based on metal and agriculture are well developed here in Jharkhand. Now let us know which are the famous festivals that are celebrated in Jharkhand. The festivals that are celebrated in Jharkhand are Makar or Tusuparap, Chhat Puja, Sarhul festival, Rohini festival, Bandana, Dashera, Holi, Eid and Diwali. There are so many places to visit in Jharkhand like the Deogar, Jamshedpur, Rachi, Betla National Park, Ghatshila, Shikharji, Dasham Falls, Netarhat, Masonjor Dam, Hazaribagh Lake, Bokaro Steel City, Maithon Dam, Panchet Dam, Girith, Dhanbad, Jain temples of Parashnath Hills, Dalma Hills, Hazaribak Wildlife Sanctuary. Now what we came to know about Jharkhand is that Jharkhand is one of India's newest states that was carved out of the southern portion of Bihar in the year 2000. The capital of Jharkhand is Rachi. Most prominent physical feature of Jharkhand is the Chota Nagpur Plateau which is a part of the vast Deccan Plateau. Several rivers that flows through the state of Jharkhand like the Damodar River, the Punpun River, 
the Suvarnareka, the Brahmini and the Sun River. Majority of population here are the Hindus. Along with Hindus, Muslims and Christians also live in small number. There are tribal peoples who are living here like the Santhal, the Munda, the Uraun, the Kharia and the Ho. Mainly the languages that are spoken here are Hindi, Bihari and Urdu and several tribal languages which are also spoken here are Munda, Santhal and Ho. The major cities of Jharkhand are Rachi, Jamshedpur, Dhanbad, Charya, Sindri and Bokaro. Here agriculture includes rearing of livestock. Jharkhand is very rich in minerals like iron, copper, bauxite, mica. Here we can find the Damodar Valley Corporation which provides water not only for irrigation but also for hydroelectricity. One of the important points that we need to remember about Jharkhand is that one of India's largest steel plants is located here in Jharkhand at Bokaro. Here we will see that what are the festivals that are mainly celebrated are Makar or Tusupara, Chhat, Rohini and Sarhul along with Diwali, Eid and other festivals. The famous places that attracts a lot of tourists here are like Deogar, Maithon Dam, Betla National Park, Ghatshila, the Panchet Dam. There are other different places which attracts a lot of tourists. So in today's video what we learned, we learn about the states of Bihar and Jharkhand. We came to know about their major cities, about the capital, about the minerals that are available there, about the agriculture, that what type of crops are grown there. We also came to know about the cultural life, about the festivals, that important places to visit, the languages that they speak in. So we came to know a lot of things about the states of Bihar and Jharkhand. Now, I hope all of you enjoyed it and yes, you people have understood it very well. Now, what you will do, you will read your books in between the lines. You will also follow the PDF that has been already provided in the description box. If you have any problem or any suggestion, don't forget to comment in the comment box. If you like my video and my content, do hit the like button and share the video as much as possible. If you like my video and my content, don't forget to hit the like button and do share my video as much as possible. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do hit the bell icon for the further notifications of my upcoming videos. Till then, stay tuned. Soon I will be back with a new video on the states of West Bengal and Assam. Till then, stay safe and stay at your home. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.